Hi there! Let's learn about the Squeeze Pins feature in Altair Inspire Cast. You can use Squeeze Pins to minimize porosity defects in a particular area. We'll demonstrate how to set up Squeeze Pins and analyze their effect. This porosity analysis shows that our model has an area with a lot of porosity, which means there will be a risk of leakage after an aperture is machined in the finished part. This may be a good place to use a squeeze pin, but first, let's check the volume of the porosity. Since the porosity is about 5 cubic centimeters, let's create a squeeze pin of about the same volume. When defining the squeeze pin, we need to consider the stroke of the pin. This is the height dimension. Then, we can change the pin's radius to get the volume we need. To define the activation time, we need to choose a moment when the porous region is isolated, so we're only affecting the porous region, and when the region is still liquid, so the squeeze pin can still affect it. Let's look at the solid fraction evolution analysis to see what our activation time should be. We'll set the arrow on the legend to 0.85, because after that point, the material will be too solid for the squeeze pin to affect. At about 4.7 seconds, the liquid cluster in the porous region separates from the rest of the liquid. That's the right moment to activate our squeeze pin. We'll select 4.7 seconds for the squeeze pin's activation time, and then we'll run the solidification analysis again. Here we see that the squeeze pin eliminated the porosity in that region, thus preventing a possible leakage problem. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to Altair How To for more tips on getting the most out of your Altair products.